In this video, we'll look at what happens when we put NH4Br plus H2O. This is ammonium bromide plus water. First thing we need to do is know what happens with ammonium bromide when we put it in water. So it's a solid, water is a liquid. So the question is whether this will dissolve or dissociate into its ions when we put it in water. We know from the solubility rules that compounds with the ammonium ion, this NH4 here, these are very, very soluble. So according to the solubility rules, this ammonium bromide should dissolve when we put it in water. We could also look at a solubility chart to see whether this is soluble in water. So on our solubility chart, we go down. These are the positive ions. Here's the ammonium ion, NH4 plus, and bromide right next to it, Br minus. So we go down and over, In this S means that it's soluble in water, that it'll dissolve in water, dissociate into its ions. So ammonium bromide, that is soluble in water, just like the solubility rules told us. So now we can split this apart into its ions. The ammonium ion, that's NH4+. And because it's soluble, because it dissolves in water, it's dissociating into its ions, we put an AQ. That AQ means aqueous. This is dissolved in the water. We also have Br minus. That's the bromide ion. Bromine always has a one minus charge, Br minus. And this too is dissolved in the water. So we write AQ, aqueous. So we don't need to write water here again on this side because the aqueous means these are dissolved in water. Some teachers, they like to have the water here put above the arrow. It really doesn't matter too much to me, but check with your teachers. Some are very specific about this. But when we put ammonium bromide in water, because it's soluble, it's a solid initially, but it will dissolve in water to produce these two ions. So this is the equation for NH4Br plus H2O. And this is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.